And okay, so welcome everyone to our call tonight. Welcome to the this freaking exciting group. Like I am so excited for this. I don't know about you guys, but please introduce yourselves in the chat. We're all different teams on here. Some of us um, are from Canada. Some of us are from the States. We're all over the place. I'm super excited to um, collaborate with you guys and really just help you guys in your business. So first I should probably introduce myself. <laughs> My name's Shauna and I am 26 years old. I'm from a small town called Blenheim, Ontario. I've been a coach for four and a half years. Um, I originally started off this business not really wanting to do anything with it really. I really just wanted to help other people get results. Um, and I didn't really know the opportunities this business had until I actually went to my first summit in New Orleans. Um, Long story short, I don't really know how to put my story into a short little sentence, but basically I hit Diamond within four months of my business. I hit Success Starter, and then I sat at Diamond for probably three years. Um, I was somebody who was very shy and introverted. I didn't really know how to lead a team. I, was, I had a lot of limiting beliefs on how to help a team. Um, and so basically it wasn't until 2019, 2020, where our team finally started to see results. And I think it all started with me and really believing in myself and then pouring that into my team, knowing that they could do it too. Um, so we hit two star in 2019, three star in 2019, and then we hit four star. Also that took a long time. So don't feel like it just happened overnight. I think we dropped four star about four times. Um, and then last year we hit nine star team and then we were first a one time elite team. So we were a new team elite team last year, which was really exciting. Um, and then every single girl on this team. So Shelby, Kayla, Kelsey, and Maddie, they also hit elite last year. So we're also going to be sharing a lot of tips and everything that we've learned in this group and how we can really help you guys in your business. That's something that we wish we had when we were newer coaches. We didn't really have a cool push group like this to be able to meet new people and collaborate with other teams as well. So um, what is this group about? I'm going to sort of talk about that. Thank you. I will pass, bless you. <laughs> and then I will pass it over to Kelsey. Um, so basically the idea of this group, the objective of this group is to help you get four active coaches underneath you. We call that two times Emerald. So basically what that looks like is you have two people on your left leg, two people on your right leg. If you're not really sure how that works, just message your coach and we will personally like help you with that on how to set your preferred placement and all those things. But I'm sure a lot of you know how to do that. Um, there's gonna be pop-up challenges. We're gonna have live power hours to help you with specific things during the power hour. And then we're also gonna have Q and A's as well. Um, but that's really a little bit about me, what this group is gonna look like. We really wanna just help you in your business to see how far you can take this and then move on to our diamond group in March. But they're gonna talk a little bit more about that, but I will hand it off to Kelsey. All right, what's up guys? I am so freaking excited for this group and I hope you guys are so excited to bring the heat and I really, really encourage you guys to just really be here for the next little bit. Listen to what we have to say as leaders. Um, I think it's very easy in this business to like overcomplicate all of the things and try and get to know all the things, but we are laying it out step-by-step step for you guys. Um, so a little bit about me first before I kind of talk about why it's so important to lock in Emerald and Diamond within this quarter and also also touch a little bit about mindset. Um, I've been a coach for three years now. I've been full-time coaching for just over a year. I had a very like slow and steady business for the first like two and a half years. I was sitting as like a shaky one star at the beginning of the year this time last year. And you guys, NLC changed my entire business. Like if you guys are pushing for anything, get to NLC. Um, last year we actually locked in five star. Um, and so we locked in elite for the very first time. But this business changed for me a year ago when I focused on this specific topic. Um, and if you guys know me, you guys know that I absolutely love my mindset stuff, but I want to talk specifically about why you want to lock it in 
this quarter, why you want to lock in Emerald within this next week, within this next two weeks, and push for Diamond and Beyond for our group running into March. Um, so first of all, if you guys don't know when the first quarter ends, it ends March 31st, I believe. The April 1st is a Thursday. Um, so ideally, you guys want to be waking up on that Thursday on April 1st as Diamond Coaches. But I want you guys to type in the chat right now. I want you guys to write down when, if maybe if you're pushing for Emerald, when your Emerald goal is, and if you're already Emerald, when your Diamond goal is. Um, just give me some dates. Let me see them pop up here. And I kind of just, yes, this week. Love all this stuff. You guys should have this date. Like you guys should have this everywhere. Put it on sticky notes, put it in your office, put it in your car, put it wherever you guys are. Um, once you guys get to Emerald, we're going to talk about this in a second. Kayla is going to talk about the actual, you know, what the benefits are, but once you get there, you get to tap into so many opportunities that are so incredible to grow your business. So the interesting thing here is that I can sit here right now and I can tell you over and over on why you should get to Emerald and how it's just two people and how it's really a choice, but you guys have to want it yourself. You have to take the momentum from this call and you have to see the long-term vision for yourself in this business. I think we overcomplicate Emerald and what it is and we overcomplicate this business in general when really Emerald is two people. And then if you get at Emerald, it's just hitting Emerald over and over and over again. And if you know how to hit Emerald, you can teach someone else to hit Emerald. Therefore, this business is all duplication. If you know how to show, if you know how to hit Emerald and you can show someone else to hit Emerald, you can be a superstar diamond, okay? But we overcomplicate what this business is, right? And I think that it's so important to remember the big vision in this business and how we're all in this business because we simply wanna help people. But when things get hard, we need to have another reason as to why we want this. Do you guys know what we need most in this business? And what I really realized last year at this time is that we need ourselves. We need our mindsets. When you find yourself comparing yourself, go back to three reasons as to why this girl did this too, why she can so that I can. That person you're comparing yourself to, that doesn't impact your vision board. That doesn't impact your future family. That doesn't impact your student loans you're trying to pay off. So why are you comparing yourself to those people? We always tend to focus on the things that we aren't, right? We always tend, you know, when we're struggling, we look around and we're like, shit, what's working for her? Let me try that. And we ignore what's happening inside of us. And so when you become aware of how many times, and my girls know this, the second they, they say something like, oh, I'm in a funk or this isn't working, I'll, I'll immediately get them to shift and be like, okay, what's working right now though? Because when someone says the word in a funk or you know, I'm struggling or I'm overwhelmed, oh, good. guys, just make sure you mute yourself, please. please. Um, but when people say those words to me, those things subconsciously bring you down. And so when you catch yourself saying this, I want you to redirect yourself and focus on three things that are going great right now. What is three things? You guys can give me one thing in the chat right now that is going great in your business right now. Did you change life this week? Did you complete a workout today? Did you sit down and focus 10 minutes on yourself? Change the meaning of what you're going through because that thing is gonna lead you to freedom. Thinking is nothing more than just asking yourself that question and taking responsibility rather than being like, oh, why is it so much easier for her? How did she hit nine star, but I'm only here. How did she hit diamond so quick, so much quick faster than I did, right? And so you guys have probably heard the little exercise about people talking about, you know, what you look for is what you focus on and or what you look for is what you're gonna attract into your life. And so I don't know if you guys have done this exercise before, but I want you guys to look around the room that you're in right now. And I want you to see all of the things that are red. I want you to look around. I want you to count all the things that are red. See how many things that you can look for red right now. Look around, look around, look for red, look for red, count how many things you can look for. And now I wanna ask you guys, how much blue did you guys find? Probably nothing, right? Because when you look for red, you don't see blue. And when you look for blue, you don't see red. So stop being obsessed over where you're stuck and start focusing on what you want to attract into your life, okay? Because until you condition to continue, to, until you condition your mind to see blue, you're always gonna see red. You're always gonna see bad. You're always gonna see what she's doing and what you're not doing. Your brain is always looking for things to go wrong. So are you ready to show up? Sometimes we have this awesome vision and we message our uplines and we're like, oh, I'm so stoked. That was a, such a good call. Like we have all these words, 
what are you doing in the silence? Do you have your goals mapped out? Are you looking at your vision board all the time? Your vision doesn't start with rank guys. Your vision is so awesome. It should be so much bigger. It starts with the impact that you're committed to and the steps that you're taking to in order to reach that. So yes, your vision board's awesome. You know, rank's awesome. Getting to Emerald and Diamond, that's awesome. But if you do not really get real with yourself about the tangible outcomes and the work that it takes to get to those things, your vision's gonna feel very strained. And in order to feel your visions, your actions gotta match that. You gotta get the tracker going, right? What's your vision for your life? That's what keeps you going. I want to be able to buy a house somewhere warm one day. I want to be able to drop what I'm doing right now, buy a plane ticket and take off this weekend. If your vision doesn't fire you the F up, you're missing the point. It is so much more than success club and, and Emerald. Those are metrics, right? So my suggestion for you is to take this group and create undoubtable consistency. Show up every single day, no matter what. Show your face, show your excitement on Instagram. And when your excuses hit, I want you to lean in instead of leaving. Instead of being like, ah, nah, I'm gonna take a step back because you know things are really busy right now and I just got really overwhelmed. You need to create that train consistency in your business rather than that roller coaster consistency in your business. Okay, the only common thing that in a top coach and us leaders that we've done is that we stopped stopping ourselves. We decided, you know what, I'm here for the long run. I'm here every single day. I'm here when it's hard. I'm here when it's easy. I'm here in the tough seasons. So be so focused on always moving forward constantly. Okay, stop being so focused on other people moving forward because what you focus on grows. So if you spend your time focused on that, I promise you guys, you're going to find your people or you can let those things completely crush you, right? And then you're gonna wonder why you quit when you did. So super excited for this group. I'm gonna pass this on to Kayla. She's gonna talk a little bit about more the details about Emerald. Um, I am stoked for you guys. That was awesome. So excited for this group. Hello everyone, my name is Kayla. I just wanted to do a little intro first. So I've been coaching since June, 2018. It's so crazy. It feels like it was just yesterday. Um, but I have, I became a diamond coach five months into my business. And then a couple of months later I went one star and then we ended 2019 as a two star team. And then we ended 2020 as a five, five star team, first time elite. Um, so lots of crazy things. It didn't happen just overnight, but I am so, so thankful that you guys have a group like this. I wish I had something like this. Um, but you have some amazing leaders and some amazing people to learn from. So basically I'm just going to kind of dive into what Emerald is and how and why you should make it happen in the next hour, in the next day. Um, whatever is doable for you, but basically going Emerald, like Kelsey said, is just signing up to other people the same exact way that you got signed up with, the same exact way. So whether they're going to actually be a coach working the business or whether they're going to be someone that's signing up for the coach discount that we get, that is exactly how I went, Emerald. I signed up my mom as my first coach. She tried my Shakeology. She tried the workout programs when it came in the mail for me. And she she wanted to be a part of it. And she also is my biggest supporter. So she wanted to support me in whatever I was doing. Um, so my mom was my first coach that I signed up. And then my second one was a best friend from high school. She was super into fitness. I reached out to her. I was like, it would be so fun for us to do this together. Super, super simple. And those are my two people. And that's how I hit my first rank advancement. So it's going to be those people that are already in your life. These people that already support you, that already love you, already trust you, um, and want to help you see success and want to help you kind of grow in whatever you're doing. So think about it like that. By going Emerald, that is going to open up a whole other potential of income that we get as coaches. So there's only so much that we can make as commissions, right? Now, when you become an Emerald coach, that's when you get to tap into Team Cycle Bonus. And I'm sure a lot of the other leaders on here agree that is where a large majority of their income comes from at this point in their business. So in order to even tap into that whatsoever, you need to become an Emerald coach. So that is a huge stepping stone. I heard on a training once that you're basically flushing money down the toilet if you're not Emerald and not being able to tap into that. Now it's not going to be crazy huge amounts right away, but it is going to be 
the stepping stone to what that potential is and kind of building that up over time. Um, you're also going to get customer leads added to you. And now these are just basically, if someone goes onto Beachbody On Demand website, signs up, they need a coach to be assigned to. So as an Emerald coach, they start assigning these people to to you. Um, I have so many people that I've had sign up this way that continue with Shakeology every single month or continue ordering different supplements or whatever it is, and you're going to make that commission from them. So again, it's another way you're going to be making money kind of not by not doing much. Um, so you don't get to tap into those until you are an Emerald coach. And also kind of gives you some street cred, right? Like you're going to get shouted out by your coach. You're going to get recognized and people are going to kind of understand that what you're doing, you're serious about because you're moving your business forward and you are, you're being recognized for that, right? So maybe you have people that are doubting you or whatever it is at the beginning, seeing you kind of make advancements like this are going to be like, wow, okay, she actually is taking this seriously. Um, and then it's also going to give you access to more upper level training. So like the girls have kind of mentioned, after this group, we're going to be running another group. And in order to be that, you have to be more than an Emerald coach um, in order to be into that group. So make sure that you do. I know that I work more closely with my coaches that are Emerald and above, um, just because they're kind of moving their business forward. They're showing that they want more in their business. So it's really just the foundation of your business. Like Kelsey said, if you can go Emerald, you can rock this business and you can see so much success because it really is going Emerald over and over and over and over and over and over again. It's just the stepping stone to so much more. So that is really all I have. Um, Emerald is just get there as fast as you can. It took me way too long to get there. I wish I did it like in an hour because it's so possible. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna pass it over to Shelby now. Awesome. I'm like so fired up for this group as well. Um, my name is Shelby. I am also from Canada. Sean is actually my coach. Um, I am 23 years old and have been coaching for two and a half years. Um, I don't remember when I went Emerald and Diamond, but we finished last year as a um, five-star Diamond first-time elite team as well, which is super exciting. Um, but I kind of wanted to share why Diamond is so important because you've heard about Emerald. You, I'm, I'm assuming a lot of you are already probably Emerald and, and experiencing some of those perks. Um, but this, this group I think is really awesome because it's not just for new coaches or those pushing for Emerald. It's for those of you too who want to continue to build that foundation. And that's why we called it Foundation to Rise and not an Emerald push group, right? Because Emerald is that foundation for everything else that comes after, like was mentioned. Um, but kind of why is Diamond important? And not just Diamond, but Diamond and beyond. I think so often we can get focused on Diamond as this end goal. But again, Diamond is really that stepping stone to going so much farther in your business and getting to ultimately like two star, which is where you can open up your second CBC. Um, but again, if you can go Diamond, you can then turn around and teach other people how to go Diamond themselves. And that's where you're really going to start to to see your um, your income grow. For a lot of people, I'm going to talk to you guys like you have um, big goals because I'm assuming if you're going to spend an hour here with us tonight and um, time with us in this group that you have goals in your business. And so if you have goals, um, it um, a lot of the times I think the goals we associate with coaching are actually going to come come true and come to fruition at that two-star diamond where you're opening your secondary business center, which if you don't know what that is, basically you get to duplicate yourself and sign yourself up as another coach and work a second business center on top of your um, business center. So you can build yourself automatically right away to one-star diamond, um, which is really awesome because then that's how you can qualify for new leader conference. So you'll, you're starting to hear a pattern. Everything builds on top of each other, but again, it goes back to starting, starting with Emerald. Um, this first group here is really going to be focused on, again, getting you to that two times Emerald um, place, but the next group is going to be focused on really what does it look like to build an organization and a team of your own? Um, because that's what diamond and beyond is. You can build to diamond pretty much on your own if you wanted to. Will it be a solid diamond? Probably not. Maybe if you're lucky. Um, but building a solid diamond business and beyond comes from actually stepping into that leadership role and owning it as a leader to recruit other people who want to build the business and not just be um, recruiting for the program option. Um, so that is why diamond is so huge. Diamond is so important and it's definitely a celebrated milestone, but just because it's a pit stop on the way to two star where again, opens the doors to a whole new level of possibility. Um, so that is on, um, diamond. No, you don't get points for signing yourself up. Uh, or you do, if you purchase a, um, 
you, you do if you purchase a challenge packet through package through that second business center. Um, but basically how it works is all the success club points you sign up through that second business center, roll up to your first business, business center, but you get paid out on the volume twice. And so that's where it's really, really helpful in terms of your, um, in terms of your income. So just know, even if you're a brand new coach, all you want to do is get to Emerald so you can duplicate that, get to Diamond so you can duplicate that, and that's how you're going to grow your business in simplest terms. But I'm going to pass it over to Maddie to kind of bring us home. Awesome. I am so excited, you guys, like everybody else, right? Like I just love having this community because a little bit of my story is that my coach never worked the business. I kind of just like fell into this, and it took me six months to hit Emerald because I thought I had to have the two most perfect coaches. I didn't even know what Success Club was for months. It took me an entire year to get to Diamond. And after I realized what it truly was and what it meant, I hit Diamond in my controlled account in 10 days. And I share that with you guys to realize like what we have right now in this community and every single tool that you need to be hand fed the information is right here. And our fearless recruiting diamond group that we have starting March 1st is the only requirements is that you have four active coaches on your team. So if you take control in this push group for the next two weeks and you focus on two people a week, not trying to sign four in one week, not trying to go diamond in one week and taking it at bite sized pieces. This is so doable. And one time I heard someone say like, how do you eat an elephant? I was like, I don't know. That sounds freaking hard. And she was like, you eat it one bite at a time, just like everything else. And I was like, whoa, mind blown. I was like, that makes so much more sense. Instead of trying to look at diamond as that's where I'm going to get credibility and diamond, 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 and think about two people at a time. So for that group, you have to have four active coaches and you have to hit success club in the month of February. We have 14 days left as of right now on this call tonight, two weeks, two weeks to sign three people, three people total for success club, four active coaches to get into our group. It's completely doable, but what it takes is not feeling that overwhelm. You can't sit here on this call tonight and get off and be like, where do I even start? Right? We have these power hours. We have so many trainings. We have so many resources and especially this Wednesday, jump on. There's three different times for you to work your business and be led through the activities that get you to the result you want. But you have to realize that it comes from within you. With overwhelm comes learning something new. And I used to always say, I'm so overwhelmed. I'm so overwhelmed of my team growing. I'm so overwhelmed of whatever. But that overwhelm means that you're trying something new for the first time. And it's probably something that you wished into your life at one point that you wished would actually come to fruition. And now it's here and now you might feel overwhelmed, but you might be freaking ready to rock it, like run for the hills and go for it because that's the only way you're going to know if this is for you, if you can be successful. But if you sit there and think about all the things that could go wrong, you'll still sit there and somebody else is going to be running and you're like, why am I not where Sally is? And it's because Sally took the action. So in this group, we have the resources for you. We have the leaders. We got the people. Now it's time for you to decide that I'm not going to let this be just another push group. I'm not just going to join another push group and do the same exact thing time and time again, but I'm going to make this be the push group that gets me to exactly where I want to go and realize that it ain't going to happen overnight, but it's going to happen by that consistent action and asking for help. I think that's something that I didn't do for the longest time is that I was like, well, I'll just figure it out. But sometimes figuring it out is good because you're going to learn something along the road. But sometimes if you ask for help, you're going to get there so much faster and you're going to be able to duplicate that. And that's what I love what everyone else was speaking about is that that duplication piece is the part that's going to set you aside. If you can't teach that new person that you just brought into your business how to go Emerald as well, you're going to be stuck here for a really long time. But if you understand that it's two people and you can tell Sally who just comes in that it's just two people and you can duplicate that, you're going to have a ton of more fun in this business because dragging challengers and trying to convince people to work out every day is not always the most fun. But when you have best friends that are doing the same thing and building businesses together, it's when everything clicked for me and I woke up at 5 a.m. every single day since March last year when I got let go and haven't stopped 
because I realized that I always had it within me. I sat there for so long as a one star diamond with my controlled account. I didn't have anybody working and I was like, I can do this. I can do this. I'm going to be an elite coach. But I wasn't working on that duplication piece. I wasn't building that foundation to have a team that wanted to rock this. And so last year in March, I got super serious of that. I can't hit five star elite alone. It's a team goal. It's a team goal that I have to be able to spend some extra time with other people and help them get there. And by the end of last year, July of last year, we hit five star elite and was able to continue to see that happen for other people on our team to see new star diamonds come that I never even thought about because I was so focused on my goal. So I want you guys to take this as a bite sized piece, two people right now, two people next week, get into our fearless recruiting group and learn that it's not that scary that you are so capable of doing this. Yes, mindset, amen. It is all up here. This is what controls all of your actions. Um, I think that's all I wanted to say, but again, like a closed mouth does not get fed. If you want this to work, you've got to talk to someone. You got to meet someone in this group, team up. If you can't get on the power hours, team up with someone else, get on them, meet somebody new. It's so cool that we have two different countries on this call right now, right? That's so funny to think like, who would have thought me signing up to do 21 day fix would have led to this. But you got to put yourself out there. You got to get uncomfortable and be ready for change and adapt to everything that's about to come your way. Um, it doesn't matter if it's a discount coach or a regular coach. Those both count for active coaches. They don't have to be working. Was there any other questions you guys saw? All right. Guys, if you have any questions, toss them out here. We're happy to answer like literally anything um, and make sure that we kind of help you guys throughout the next two weeks in this. Just a heads up, if you guys haven't checked out the schedule for this upcoming week, make sure you go check that out. There's something happening every single day. Um, tomorrow, we're gonna help you guys actually identify who your two people are if you're pushing for Emerald. Wednesday, we have a ton of working hours um, and some other things happening in the week. So, The Fearless Recruiting Group is our Diamond Dash. It's just a different name because I know some people are already Diamond or Regaining, but it's learning that it's not that diamond is that end goal, but once you hit diamond, say you hit it in the first week, that your goal is to be able to fearlessly recruit that dream coach that you want to on your team so that we can get to that next stop of two star and duplicate yourself. And I've always remembered saying like, I just want another me on my team. And that is where two star actually happens is that you get yourself on your team. So that, um, that's what the fearless recruiting group is. I do have a quick question. Um, so no matter how many people I reach out to, I haven't heard anything from anyone. Is there any tips or tricks that anyone has for me to politely persuade people into joining? Cause like, I don't want to sound like I'm desperate or like I'm trying to push, but like, just like, oh, kind of beating around the bushes and stuff, because no matter what I say, no matter who I talk to, no matter what I do, no one is signing up and I'm kind of out of options. Like it doesn't matter how many people I message when I message them, just they read them and then it's nothing. So unless I'm doing something wrong, someone please tell me. <laughs> I think so much of this, oh, I think I'll, I'll go first and then if anybody has anything to add on, but I think so much of this is first flip your mindset, right? If you're saying no matter what I do, nobody's going to sign up with me, then nobody's going to sign up with you. But flipping that mindset of no matter if people sign up with me or not, I'm going to stay consistent and then people will come, right? If you watch a national wake up call today, she said, if you build it, they will come. So if you show up and stay committed, people are going to show up. That's how it works. Um, but I think something that you can really focus on as a newer coach is making sure that your content is speaking to people so that when you do go to invite them, that um, they know what you're talking about. Right. And so if you're not posting, you know, at least five to 10 times on your stories and three to five times in your feed every single week consistently, when you're reaching out to people, they might have no idea what you're talking about. Um, so that would be like tip number one is how can you speak to your specific person's pain points in your content more um, so that when you invite them, they're more likely to say yes. But also when you're inviting, not going in right away with the expectation that someone's going to say yes the first time you talk to them. 
Think about yourself. How many times did you have to be invited before you finally committed, right? I know for me, it wasn't right away. It wasn't the first time that Shauna reached out for me, out to me, but the first time that she reached out, it was it planted the seed, right? So right now, if you reach out with the intention of whether they say yes or no, I'm still planting the seed, right? And they might not be ready today, but that's okay. I'm gonna be here when they are. And I think going into that with, with that mindset, um, and not that you need them, but that they need you and what you have to offer as a gift could be uh, a complete game changer. So those would be like my two top tips. Okay. So basically just stay consistent, plant a seed, kind of follow up every, like every like few, is it every few days too soon or would it be better to be a week to follow up with them? For me personally, when it comes to follow-ups, um, if they didn't answer me from my last invite, I personally wait until the following month and invite them to my next challenge group. But if there's somebody that had like shown interest and they asked for more information, then I would probably wait about two days before I followed up. Okay. Now, another question I have, I have so many of them, I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, but like in terms of like, what's the follow unfollow method that I keep hearing about that you guys do? Like, I don't know what that is. That's something that we would go over in our power hour on Wednesday about like how we follow, how we unfollow. Um, I feel like that's definitely a good question and something I still question because I feel like there's no right <laughs> or wrong way to do it. Um, okay. but we'll definitely go over that on Wednesday. Okay. Do I have another question before I go? Um, <laughs> Um, if I have any more questions, I'm going to put it in the chat, but I do have to go, but I appreciate you answering the questions for sure. Um, and thank you so much for answering them. It helps a lot. Anybody else? I was going to say, there's one that says, what would be your biggest tip in order to succeed with signing up two people per week? I think that kind of just goes back to what Shelby was just saying. But I think personally, like when you hype up a group like this, and even if you don't necessarily have a challenge group with hundreds of people, I know I look at Kim Fitzpatrick on the national wake up call today. and I'm like, I'm doing everything wrong. Like I don't have that type of community. But then I think about like where I started was my mom and my sister. There was two people, but I acted like it was the world. Just like before I was an elite coach, I acted like I had a team of hundreds when I had a team of 12. It's acting as if you are that person that has an incredible group, that you are that incredible coach before it happens. So being on this call tonight, talking about how you're hyped about where you're going and your vision in this business and the things are going to happen and people are going to catch fire and realize like, wow, she knows where she's going. I want to be aboard that bus. I want to be aboard the bus where the girl has confidence of what she's doing and she doesn't act like she's like kind of sort of in here and maybe we'll quit next week if she doesn't get somebody to sign up. That would be my biggest tip. And those all messages. Any other questions? Going once, going twice. 